This is just a quick tip video showing you how you can change the look of your page in Scan and Cut Canvas online. Now, this is a card I made recently, which is on my YouTube channel, and it's a shape card made from a dingbat. So you've got the base card, you've got the insert, and then you've got the shoe topper. You can go and have a look for that video if you want to see how I made it. And this is probably the view that you used to see in Scan and Cut Canvas, the 12 by 12 map with the red bounding box. And the red bounding box is the area in which you are safe to cut within with your scan and cut. So long as you keep your design within this red bounding box, you'll be okay. Now, in the UK, we tend to use a lot of A4 card. I think in other parts of the country, you use eight and a half by 11, slightly different sizes to us. And sometimes when you're making a project like this, you want to try and maximize the amount of space you use to cut your design. And it's not always easy to see when you're looking at it on a 12 by 12 mat. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the actual mat size. So if you come to projects, usually by default, it's on 12 by 12. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to choose A4 landscape because that's the orientation of this particular card. And then straight away you'll see I've now got a red bounding box that's set to the size that I can cut from within A4. So if I select all this design and just centre it all up, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to group it, so right click and group, and now I can position this blue bounding box within this red dashed bounding line here and get the maximum amount of size for this card that I can get from A4. So I can drag it out so long as I keep the click off, so long as I keep the design within this red box, that's probably about the maximum size I can cut it. If I want to alter the size and drag it out and make it bigger, I can do that. Now, another thing that you can do, if you come to view, usually by default, show my image is ticked. If you untick that, that will just show you a plain and simple screen with no grid marks on or anything. And sometimes this is easier to work with than, than having your grid lines on. Another thing that you can do under the view menu, if you click view, you can actually show, um, select to show the cutting line only. So if you select that, that will take the colour fill out for you just in this view. And then you can see your cut lines. So sometimes you might want to just have a look at something without, without the fill in it. And that's a quick way to have a look at it. So if you untick that, the fill comes back for you. And then also under the view menu, somebody messaged me about this recently. They wanted to know if you can change the properties from inches to millimeters. So I'm just going to go back to show matte image. And you can see here that we've got inches. If you go to view and change it to millimeters, once you then select on your design, it will show you the size in millimetres. Your matte view doesn't change. If I zoom in on the top of the matte, you will see that you have inches and centimetres on your matte. If I just come back and zoom and fit, or in fact, I'll make it 50% so you can see it better. It's only the size down here that changes when you choose inches or centimetres. So if I go back to inches and select the shoe or select this design, I should say, you'll see that this design is 7.70 by 11.27 inches. And if I change it back to millimetres and select it, it shows you that it's 195.5, which is 19.5 centimetres or 195 millimetres. So there, you know, there are options within here that you can change within Scan and Cut Canvas. I'll just go back to 12 by 12 because that's the normal default view that we usually use. 
So I hope you found that quick tip helpful. Give the video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure your notifications are turned on and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.